Duff McKagan points us to the lighthouse. Taylor Swift is in her college era. Dolly Parton is a rock star. And Monaskin ties up our hearts. Well, it's nice to see a familiar face. Hey, everyone. I'm Katie Darrell, and this is the Music High Five. We're going to get started today with the quick hits. What a rush! Getty Lee scores in the top five on the Sunday Times bestseller list with his My Effin' Life memoir. Taylor Swift is heading to Harvard and University of Florida as the universities offer courses dedicated to the pop star. And it's big bucks for you too as their first batch of shows at The Sphere generated nearly $110 million in ticket sales. Plus, it's time to get excited because Pearl Jam's next album is on its way! That was a lot of information in a very little amount of time. Let's slow things down and check out the Music High Five. Number one, Dolly Parton is a rock star. Dolly Parton's rock star debuted at number one on Billboard's top album sales chart. The album has new and covered rock songs by Parton and features a huge catalog of guest artists like Pat Benatar, Linda Perry, Stevie Nicks, and Paul McCartney. Rockstar also debuted at number three on the top 200, making it Parton's highest charting album ever. Number two, Derek Smalls has the rock for you. Spinal Tap legendary bassist Derek Smalls is going deluxe this season. Small Change, Meditations Upon Aging, was originally released in 2018 as Smalls' solo debut. And in 2023, fans are getting even more. Along with major features from Taylor Hawkins and Donald Fagan, the deluxe edition includes two unreleased live tracks. There's nothing small about this epic new edition. Number three, follow the lighthouse. Duff McKagan of Guns N' Roses fame's newest solo album, Lighthouse, is a true gem filled with incredible features, rockin' riffs, and epic music videos. We're hooked! McKagan stopped by to give us an inside scoop. Tis the season for the solo album. Congratulations on Lighthouse, dude. It's really nice. A solo record is a solo endeavor, mm -hmm. but to make a solo record in a time of, you really can't have anybody around, you can't have anybody into your studio. It truly was a, a solo. There's a strong green presence with this album. There is. The vinyl is green. You watch the music video for I Just Don't Know and you and Jerry Cantrell are playing and there's this gr green wall uh, video screen above you. Sometimes us all looking for that beacon of goodness or beacon of hope or that love, we, you know, we'll go through it. We got to go through to get that thing. And uh, I think that's what all of the the greens and the reds are about. It has a lot of great cameos. Like I'd mentioned before, Jerry Cantrell, I think your buddy Slash is on there. Um, yeah. It's a great it, get. Yeah, thank you. Number four, Soundgarden fights on. Seems all is not well between Soundgarden and Chris Cornell's estate. Months earlier, the two parties released a joint statement saying they reached an agreement on the release of a batch of unheard songs by Chris Cornell, who passed away in 2017. Drummer Matt Cameron revealed that we might not hear those songs anytime soon. Cameron replied on the Vinyl Guide podcast that the legal battle still continues. Number five, turn up the volume on your bookshelf. Graphic novels are taking over music. D. Snyder, he's not going to take it, details his efforts to establish freedom within the arts with the PMRC hearings while Blondie, against the odds, takes inspiration from the band's songs while exploring their fight to earn their legendary status. I feel the need, the need for some super sweet new music videos. Serafina and Twista join forces for the courageous collaboration, Nothing, while Group Amor put their spin on a Richie Valens classic with La La La, and Monaskin takes on a seductive ballad with Valentine. Music news is always happening, so keep listening. I'm Katie Darrell, and I'll see you for the next Music High Five.